Welcome to Talkin' Tigers. I'm Rachel Whitaker. College football bowl bids are coming Sunday, so we'll close the week with LSU columnist Ron Higgins to talk all about it. Well, Ron, first of all, what are you hearing about where 8-4 and four LSU might be heading for the postseason? Well, I hear a couple of places, even though I've made hotel reservations in six different cities. Uh, that's the truth. Uh, I'm hearing a, a lot about the Tax Slayer Bowl in, 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 uh, in Jacksonville, formerly the Gator Bowl. They haven't had LSU in a long time. Uh, they've only had LSU once, as a matter of fact, and then I think it was back in the 80s, I believe. Mm -hmm. And they haven't had LSU in a long time. And uh, generally, bowls like to go after teams they haven't had in a long time because those teams generally don't play poorly enough to drop down to that bowl uh, level. And in this case, uh, at Nail Shoot 8 and 4 fits the Tax Slayer Bowl, I guess, profile. So that's that's a spot they may end up in. I've heard Maryland as an opponent, but I mean, that could change also because this the way the new bowl setup kind of, is, is kind of different than it has been in the past. Right, and of course the Tax Slayer Bowl, formerly known as the Gator Bowl, but we know how these bowls change names uh, sometimes quite often. But And before tomorrow's SEC Championship, uh, Alabama is number one in the college football playoff, we know, but the big thing that stands out to me is TCU moving up to number three. So what's your take on the Frogs jumping ahead of defending champion Florida State? I was surprised they jumped to number three. I thought they would go to number four, uh, but to number three it really surprises me. The, you know, the committee's continued lack of respect for Florida State winning. I mean, it, it, to me, it doesn't matter how you win as long as you keep winning, especially if you're the defending national champion and you're still unbeaten. Uh, as you were a year ago, it's hard to defend a national championship and keep winning. There's a lot of factors that come into play you know, with your team. Everybody's going to give you their best shot. There could be complacency on your team. It's human nature. There's all these factors, and they're still pulling out games. So to me, no matter how they win, they're still winning. That's why uh, I can't understand why they, they dropped to number four. But for Florida State's standpoint, it's not bad because that means you'll play number one. And if Alabama was number one, it means that you don't have to travel across the country, that you can play your semifinal game right in New Orleans in the Superdome against uh, Alabama. Man, that would be a great matchup right there. And Florida State, uh, exactly right. No matter how they've won, they've pulled out some wins that they almost had no business winning, uh, depending on how the game unfolded. But again, we'll learn everyone's postseason fate Sunday morning around 1145 Central Time. Well, Ron, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you, Rachel. Take care. And enjoy your weekend, everyone. I'll be back Monday.